Ace Combat 7 is finally out, but of course there are so-called games journalists giving it bad reviews. You can tell they're bad because I don't agree with them. The main thing they've all been complaining about is the supposedly confusing story, so I guess it falls to me, somebody who actually knows what he's talking about, to explain the story for all you morons who can't figure it out for yourself. This is Avril. Her hobbies include aircraft repair, never washing her hands, and staring directly at the sun. She pre-ordered the game, so she has the F-104C Starfighter unlocked at the start. Unfortunately, she doesn't realize that it doesn't come with any weapons, so in her first dogfight she gets hit, smashes her head on the canopy, and dies. Meanwhile, a rookie pilot named Trigger is going out on his first mission. He shoots down 20 enemy aircraft single-handedly, but then his boss is still like, don't get cocky, kid. When they get back to base, they turn on the Exposition News Network. This is an ENN special report. Ozia and Arusia are now fighting for some reason. I think it's vaguely connected to the space elevator somehow, but honestly, who cares? The newest IFF is connected to our entire force via satellites. It's reliable, so trust your radars. Oh, okay, good. Can you imagine if you had to manually ID every target? Man, that would be really annoying and not fun. Then Arusia reveals their secret weapon, drones and they suck. But then they bring out the big drone, which has patented Droidica technology. Oh, I just finished tying my shoes. This is Dr. Schroeder. He works for Grunder Industries, which somehow still exists even though they tried to nuke the whole world. Like, did Osea really not have anybody inspect those containers? Anyways, Dr. Schroeder is in charge of making the drones better, which he does by studying Solid Snake's brain. From time to time, I'd catch myself looking at him. They were such enthralling creatures. This is Princess Rosa Cassette Delise. She is apparently really good at giving speeches. Her face was so expressive. The Oceans find out that former President Harling is at the space elevator. Oh, hey, I remember that guy from AC5. That's a fun little reference. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. I swear, whenever Harling shows up, you gotta do one of these stupid radar missions. But that means if Harling was dead, you wouldn't have to do a radar mission ever again. As a reward for putting an end to those stupid radar missions, Trigger is transferred to a squadron with actual characters, like Logan Paul. Oh, and look, Avril's here too. Can you believe that shit? Trigger and Suicide Squad shoot down some bombers, but then get thrown in solitary. Meanwhile, Avril stands in a dark corner and does some Shadow the Hedgehog tier monologuing. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It leaks. Suicide Squadron then escorts some allies through this weird rock place, and then Solid Snake shows up and does a post-stall maneuver. But since it wasn't inside the stadium, it only gets two upvotes on Reddit. Then you get to do this one. Oh boy, what a fun mission. Really knocking it out of the park here. Oh, okay, Bandong just killed Full Band. Now see, that's actually kind of interesting. I can't wait to see where that plot thread goes. Then Trigger kills McKinsey. The game actually does give you points for doing that, by the way. As a reward for killing McKinsey, him and Logan Paul get transferred to a squadron that actually goes on fun missions. The Erusian military just kind of forgot that Stonehenge existed, so we're gonna use it to shoot down one of the arsenal birds. Oh no, our spotters have been taken out. The only way we'll be able to shoot the arsenal bird now is if it conveniently flies directly in front of us. Oh, oh okay, that, that actually worked out pretty well. Wouldn't be an ace combat game without a mission where you chase down giant missiles. Wouldn't be an ace combat game without a mission where you fly through a canyon. Holy crap, are these searchlight operators deaf? Man, Farbanti cannot catch a break. Mobius 1, five aircraft are closing in at high speed. It's the Yellow Squadron. Trigger takes out Soul Squadron, but Wiseman figures out that Solid Snake is invincible unless he's in a scripted chase sequence. So he bravely sacrifices himself for pretty much no reason because Solid Snake still gets away. Government and civilian broadcasts and transmissions were cut off. Okay, see now the story is actually kind of getting interesting, and it only took what, uh, 15 missions to get here? Hello, I'm Labath. I am going to try to explain the plot to you. The conservative majority the lost young Russian officers, so when Parliament members cast in the the princess are pretty much dominant. Did you get all of that? Good, because I'm gonna blow up now. Speaking of blowing up, Princess Rosa's plane got shot down, and everybody on it died except for her. Avril and Tabloid, wait, have I even mentioned Tabloid yet? Uh, yeah, super memorable character Tabloid show up and give her some water. Trigger decides to stop by, but Avril gets on the radio and starts calling him a dumbass, so he blows up a couple of friendlies to let off some steam. Rosa is feeling some survivor's guilt, so she tries to get herself killed by an airstrike, but Trigger's aim is too good. Before heading off to the space elevator, Trigger decides to obliterate a small country for fun. Solid Snake shows up with an EML Wyvern build, but he's no match for Trigger's noob strat of spamming quams. Avril, Tabloid, Rosa, Schroeder, and the sisters all stand motionless in a room for several minutes and take turns reading the screenplay. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, 
she'd just end up like the rest of us. Dr. Schroeder didn't get to upload his drone data, but also he did. So now they gotta destroy the space elevator, but also they don't. Trigger shows up and has an epic dogfight, and just when you're thinking, hey, this is pretty fun, you gotta go fight the arsenal bird. While Trigger is busy dodging a million missiles, Tabloid gets crushed by falling debris. <laughs> Rosa unscrews a light bulb, which allows Trigger to destroy the Arsenal bird all by himself. Because even though he has like 50 allies right there, nobody helps him. Everyone celebrates, but then two super advanced drones show up. And then Rosa jumps off a cliff and gets blown up by a missile and her head flies off. Then Trigger has to retreat to the USS fan service for some reason, even though we could totally just kill the drones right now. So the epic final battle isn't against Solid Snake or the Arsenal bird, it's just two guys. Trigger kills them no problem, but come on, did you really think you weren't going to be flying through that space elevator? In the end, the space elevator remains standing, and the moral of the story is that technology is bad, or just AI is bad. And war is bad too, or at least it is if there's drones in it. If it's just human pilots, then war is good? It was Belka the whole time. Who could have seen, who could have predicted?